I think in my heart of hearts, I really did want them to end up together, but I didn't want to hope. And I think it's because I've watched too many things that are for the male gaze. And at the end of the day, it's like, that's right, women, you can't actually have everything. Mm Mm-hmm. And so when they ended up together at the end, I was like, oh, thank God. They let her have everything. What? Oh, you never see it. They Since let her when? have everything. And I fucking love that. And I think it was really like groundbreaking TV when it comes to making television for women specifically. Oh, this fucking show. I have never consumed media that is so more for the female gaze than this show. And it's quite confronting a lot of the time. Yeah. Like you, sometimes you expect that the bad thing will happen or that, say, the male gaze version of the thing will happen and you're constantly <laughs> met with it doesn't. And it's really unnerving to watch mm. and This get idea used that to. I think we're constantly fed in media, it's like, oh, yes, you can be beautiful, but there has to be, you know, a punishment for that or, you mm. know, like something paid for that. It's like, oh, you can be really successful at your job, but... You know, that means that another thing boys will fall won't down. Like you. Yeah. yeah, your boys won't like you. And it's like, oh, you can be smart. But you know, people will find that really annoying. And it's always these caveats to anything good that happens to women. It's a and yes, this but. show had the still managed to have the conflict of, like, this could end really badly. But mm. then tied it off so nicely of, like through communication and discussion that's it that's why yes and love and appreciation and understanding it's like you can actually have everything that you want if you're just a good person and talk to people about your shit yes and and work it out and make people feel seen (laughs) 